guys, so I'm just jumping right into this video. So today I got my hair from Kalai um, Hair. Um, on first impression, this hair was super soft and I did not, it did not tangle while I was rubbing my hands through it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the hair on this, this wig on the mannequin head. And I'm first just going to brush it out really quick um, just to make sure that it has no tangles in it. Just a little bit about this wig. This is a 150% density um, human hair wig. It is in 26 inches. It is also a 360 frontal wig. Um, and it also came pre-plucked. But of course, as you know, I'm going to still pluck it anyways. Just to really give it that natural hairline look. So for this wig, I'm going to actually be trying to highlight my this hair for the very first time. I've never highlighted hair before, so uh, this is going to be a, really just an experiment for me. Um, I actually ended up, at the end, I really loved how it came out, so I think I did a pretty good job. But yes, so I went ahead and I parted it down the middle. Because, you know, I love me a middle part. So I went ahead and parted it down the middle. And I'm just going to section it um, out um, and do like a circular motion with my comb. Um, just so I can get those highlighted pieces out. Um, and I also had already mixed up some bleach. Um, I used my um, BW bleach that I always use. And I put um, 30 volume developer in it. Um, I just mixed it up until it was um, like a liquid, but a thick liquid. Um, so you don't want it too watery um, or well, too runny, um, should I say, when you, um, you don't want the, the bleach to be too runny um, when you put it on the hair. Along with me doing the highlighted sections um, in the hair, I also um, just grab, tilted my wig stand back, and I just grabbed a couple of pieces in the back, um, just only the ends, and I bleached those ends as well, um, just to add a little pizzazz, I guess you could say, um, and make it a little different. I didn't want to dye I didn't want to bleach all of the ends um just because I didn't want every ends all the ends to be um lighter because I did want to have that different dimensions of hair um in there so I ended up letting the bleach sit for 30 minutes but then I was thinking to myself hmm do I really want do I want to try to do a little bit more highlights going on down the hair so I ended up just doing some more, um, just mixing up some more bleach and highlighting some more of that hair instead of just the hair um, that is on the hairline. So I just did the front sides. Um, I didn't do it all the way down, um, but just enough to make a difference. After I let this bleach sit for about 30, 45 minutes, I went ahead and washed it out. I didn't condition it um, at that moment just because I knew I was going to have to bleach the knots as well. So I also ended up having to make a new mixture of bleach um, just because it wasn't going, that bleach was not going to be thick enough to just sit on the lace. Just let that bleach sit, that bleach sit on the knots for about 
um, 20, 25 minutes, or at least until I could see that the knots had changed colors. After I had went ahead and rinsed all that bleach out off of the frontal, out of the hair, I went ahead and washed the hair one more time and I conditioned it as well. Um, you want to make sure that you wash the bleach, um, the bleached parts, just so that it doesn't continue the process after you have wa after you have washed the bleach off. Um, and then I also just conditioned it just to make sure that that bleach, those bleach sections, um, continued to stay soft, um, even though the hair was already soft as is. Also, I do want to point out that once I had rinsed all of the bleach off of the hair, it was not tangling with it being under the water or anything. So I went ahead and started plucking the hair while it was wet as well. I know y'all see this front, this hairline, like this hairline is literally giving me life. But after I did all the plucking and washing and everything, I went ahead and I just dried the hair. Um, I was in the mood to just go ahead and try to finish this hair so I could get this video up for y'all. Um, I was very motivated, as y'all can see. But yes, um, I am using my Bio Silk. I love this stuff. Like, I, whenever I used to get my hair straightened, um, and I would do it at home, this is what I used. I love it. It makes your hair very shiny and silk-like. Like it says, it's silk therapy. But yes, I made sure that I put um, extra on those ends just because they did look a little dry um, and you want to make sure that they don't look dry like once you flat iron it and everything. I'm using my Con Air hair straightener um, and I've set it on 419 degrees. Um, it took me about 30 minutes to go through and um, straighten all of this hair and I got it bone straight. Um, I think it really helped with just this hair being so soft and um, with this hair being soft and me blow drying it as well, like blow drying and going through with a brush to blow dry it so it wasn't as frizzy. Um, as you can see, those the ends, like halfway down, it does start to get frizzy, but I mean... I did I was trying to blow dry it. I didn't have the proper brush to try to blow dry it with as well. Y'all, when I tell you I love this hair and I haven't even worn it yet, like I just see the potential in it. It's just amazing. Like when I tell y'all it is soft, it is so, so, so soft. Like I love it. I've never had um, any hair that was this soft and felt this silk. Like, like I literally love it. And I know y'all just see do y'all see this bounce like this flow like oh i love it but yes um i'm gonna just go ahead and finish the rest of this um straightening off camera i'll be back now this is the finished product it is also bone straight um i'm so excited to um put this wig on um, I will be putting the wig on in a couple of days, so then I will have the video up um, very sh shortly afterwards. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. 
and also turn on those push notifications as well. Um, but I hope to see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all again.